let's talk about budget fragrances or inexpensive fragrances or even cheap fragrances that smell expensive today. I've got 15 fragrances here for you. I've spoken about these in the past. I'm compiling them in this particular theme video for you today and we're going to find out what those are. If you're curious to learn about these 15 inexpensive fragrances that smell expensive, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yesterday we're talking about some inexpensive scents or fragrances or perfumes that uh, are, you know, expensive smelling. And the thing is I've got various options here, feminine targeted options, male targeted options, and of course unisex options as well. And of course I say there are no rules with fragrances. If you like what it smells like and you want to wear it, wear it, okay? Because some of these fragrances, even though they're kind of broken down into specific sexes, there's actually versions or similar fragrances out there that are targeted unisex. So it's just some designers definitely attach a sex behind fragrances. Obviously unisex fragrances uh, most of the time don't do that. But then again, there's also some fragrances here that are targeted to the opposite sex that is perfect for the opposite sex, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is a fragrance I discussed last week in another uh, inexpensive themed video. This is Ajmal's Verd. This is a fragrance you can find for $22 over at Fragrance X, and I feel like it's totally, totally worth it. But from what I hear, it's already sold out since I aired my last video, but they'll put it back, they'll bring it back because it sold out for me as well and then they brought it back. So when I first got it, um, um, I brought this back from Europe and uh, I went to FragranceNet to find it and they had it there but it said you know, out of stock, but they brought it back and obviously now it's sold out again. So the great thing about this particular fragrance is it's unisex, it's eau de parfum, it's long lasting, and it smells expensive. It kind of reminds me, not kind of actually, it really reminds me of a Tom Ford's Noir Anthracite. So it's kind of a bitter green sheeper like fragrance and utilizes uh, lots of uh, galbanum here. So it's kind of green, not kind of green. It's actually really, really green. So it's a green fragrance, bitter, earthy, woody, and it's got leather here. We've got sandalwood, black pepper, ginger, bergamot, and jasmine and you can get it for about 22 bucks if you can find it get it I think it's totally worth it those of you that are fans of fragrances like noir anthracite or you love galbanum you've got to get your nose on that one I think it's totally worth it for that price and it totally smells expensive so moving on to the house of victory Nux, this is black steel I'm going with the first victory Nux fragrance I suggested on the channel or recommended and this one is a male targeted release the last one is unisex this is actually $20 and it smells fantastic and I think it's um, kind of in line with uh, fragrances like Bentley for Men Intense and things like that and also recently when I started wearing this it kind of started reminding me a little bit of uh, Five O'Clock Ajinjambra from the house of uh, Serge Lutens but for me there's uh, definitely masculine touches here and of course ambery touches as well and I love the idea of uh, smoky pine because that's what the note is here it, they've also got large accord leather black pepper almond accord it's i think it's a great scent for the price 20 bucks i personally think it smells better than what's really being pushed at places like macy's because i like because i like the authentic smell of the notes that are in here and you don't have that kind of marinish amber aquatic thing that's in a lot of male designer fragrances that's very very popular i like the uniqueness of this particular fragrance and it's also inexpensive it is on the toilet so it's not necessarily the beefiest fragrance but i think you can replenish it and uh, be fine with it so it's Black Steel uh, from the house of Victor Enox. Moving on to the house of Derek Lamb. This is uh, 10 Crosby something wild. So for me, I feel like I get sandalwood with this particular fragrance and uh, they don't mention sandalwood. It's a kind of a, for me, a combo of uh, woods and vanilla. And the vanilla is really uh, syrupy sweet, but a bit on the medicinal side and a bit milky lactonic as well. And I feel like it's not cedarwood, it's sandalwood. I don't know why I get sandalwood with this one, even though they mention cedarwood, but they only mention cedarwood and vanilla with this particular fragrance. This is unisex and you can find it for about 30 bucks, but there's all kinds 
kinds of deals out there for this one. Do get it. And I feel like it's definitely very, very expensive smelling. Of course, when they put this brand out for the first time, they were selling for triple, quadruple the price. But now they're all over at the discounters. You can find them. I think also within the last couple of years, it's getting less and less easy to find these fragrances from Derek Lamb. But if you can find it, get it. Especially if you like woody, vanillic fragrances. And again, as I said, I get sandalwood with this one. I do get woods, but I also get definitely a sandalwoody creaminess uh, mixed with the vanilla. So this is Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby something wild. Check that out uh, if you can. Uh, I actually bought that at a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx when I was visiting my mom recently, like a couple years ago. So moving on to the house of Yoop with the exclamation mark. This is La Band, this one right here. So this is a woman's targeted release, but for me, it also reminds me of what we do in Paris is Secret from the house of a lab on fire. This is not a 100 ml bottle, it's a 75 ml, but it is around 25 bucks for this bottle, so it's fairly inexpensive. And to me, it's kind of like a woody, almost gourmand, but aldehydic and some earthy touches as well. And I feel like they've done a great job with this one. Lots of tonka beans for sure. There's vanilla, there's amber, there's musk, there's sandalwood, aldehyde hides, jasmine, patchouli, orange blossom. I think it's a great fragrance. A man can totally pull it off. Of course, what we do in Paris is secret from the house of a lab on fire is unisex. This is a female targeted release. This is a designer after all, but a man can totally pull this one off and I think it's totally delicious. So Le Ban from the house of uh, Youp is a great scent. I uh, hope you guys can check that out. Uh, I think it smells expensive, especially for the fact that we've got an expensive niche fragrance that it smells like. So up next, going to the house of Lalique. This is white in black. So so I first bought this fragrance at the discounter, then all of a sudden everybody started buying it because I started uh, you know, talking about it in a review. I think I was probably one of the first to review this on YouTube. And then all of a sudden there were no discounts available for this one and it was finally selling on the Lalique website suggest a retail for about $150 I think. Could be a little less. But recently I found a bunch of bottles over on Joma Shop for about $45 for this 120 ml or 125 ml bottle. So to me this smells expensive because it reminds me of Leighton from the House of Parfums of Marley. It's a male targeted release and I feel like Leighton can be worn by women. It has definitely unisex touches. It's got vanilla and cardamom here so definitely is something that women can totally pull off and I feel like it's very unisex so if you can find it for 45 bucks if it's still selling definitely take advantage of it I think it's totally worth it it's at definitely more than a 100 ml bottle so you've got a great price for more more fragrance or juice uh, in, in, than like a 100 ml so you've got a lot of juice here but you know it's a great scent uh, with loads of uh, vanilla touches and there's cardamom here very aromatic very spicy also the lavender comes in there's pink pepper patchouli bergamot Olibanum, Ambrox, and Tolu Balsam, Grapefruit. Lots of yummy stuff in here. It smells super fantastic. You can totally pull it off, wear it, and wear it over and over again for the price point. And, uh, you know, you can tell people you're wearing Leighton or something because, you know, it does remind me of Leighton for sure, and uh, it's definitely worth the money. Now, the only thing I should say is uh, a lot of fragrances do sell out, and the, the, uh, you know, the online retailers will be out of stock and then they'll bring them back. So if you can't find them and you're looking for it, definitely put a, a, a the, you know, what they call it, it's like you send a reminder once they get it in stock, because this is what I did with the Ajmal. I actually bought one on my travels to London and then I actually ordered a bunch more from uh, uh, from FragranceNet for that same price because I wanted to have a couple of backup bottles just in case I wanted to gift somebody. So whenever there's something out of stock, just put yourself a, the email reminder that you can do with the website and they'll email you and then you'll go right there and buy it. So next we're going to go to the house of Bentley, one of my all-time favorite cheapies that smells expensive. It's for Bentley for Men Intense. Uh, this one also, I feel like you can totally uh, pull off as a woman. It is male targeted here and it features incense, leather, benzoin, rum, black pepper, patchouli, woodsy notes, cinnamon and cedar. Definitely got smoky woody touches, of a, lots of booziness in here. For sure it's got vanillic and resinous touches in here with the benzoin. Leather does come in for sure and then of course the earthiness and spices. You know I have to say this does remind me of uh, Luban's Idol. Uh, if you're a fan of that which is a unisex targeted release I think you can totally pull the 
this one as a pull this one off as a woman. But I really, really love the dry down on this. It has a super fantastic, sexy dry down that I really, really love. And I'll recommend this one all the time as long as it's uh, still available. So Bentley for Men Intense is a great, great uh, inexpensive fragrance that smells expensive. Next, going to a male targeted release, but I think this one can be pulled off by a woman as well. This is from the House of Zara. It's for him, Red Edition. So this is three notes credited orange, amber, Evernell. So for me, it does remind me of like some kind of a version of Baccarat Rouge. And because of that, I feel like uh, a, a woman can totally pull it off. Did I forget the price? This is $36, by the way, the Bentley for Men Intense. And the same price for the Zara for Him edition. The Bentley is discounted for $36, suggested retail is higher. The Zara is not discounted, it's suggested retail $36. But for me, I feel like it smells expensive because it does remind me of Baccarat Rouge, a little different take on it, a little oak mossy take on it, because it has Evernil, and Evernil is a synthetic form of oak moss, but amber and orange together, and definitely there's Ambroxan in here, it's got to be. It's a great fragrance. And this actually has a great, great trail. I smelled on some folks and of course with temperatures rising and heat and things like that or your, your own body heat, this will start projecting off of you. And I think it will turn some heads and get some attention of some people. So it's a great scent. Zara for him. Red Edition is a great uh, fragrance that smells expensive. Next, go into the house of um, Rosha. This is Moustache. I don't have my bottle. I'm showing you the bo box because the box is also really beautiful as you can see here. Um, my bottle is somewhere stuck, uh, but the Moustache is a great scent that smells expensive and reminds me of Tuxedo from YSL. Tuxedo is so expensive, right? It's a designer exclusive fragrance from their, you know, exclusive lineup of collection of fragrances. But here we've got a version of it that you can get 100 ml for 36 freaking dollars. It's so inexpensive. So if you've been wanting a bottle of Tuxedo and you can't afford it, this is a great alternative for that. So it's a male targeted release, Tuxedo's unisex a woman can totally pull this one off. It features notes of vanilla, pink pepper, benzoin, cedar, rose, mandarin, orange. It smells fantastic. It's a bit ambery. It's a bit sweet. It's a bit vanillic. It's a bit spicy and a bit floral. A yummy fragrance. This is Moustache from the House of Rocha. And that's the eighth fragrance I'm talking about today. I'm hoping I'm giving you guys a nice variety of fragrances in case you're a man or a woman and you specifically wear fragrances targeted to, to your own sex and things like that. I've got a variety here. This one on the other hand is a unisex offering from the house of Zara. Again, this is Vetiver Pamplemousse. This is a really, really great fragrance. It's a great citrus for me, but also with some substance because it has that vetiver. It's got that kind of base, that woodiness, the earthiness, the grassiness in here but mesh with a lot of citruses. The grapefruit, I think, is a great note to mi mix with vetiver because vetiver has some grapefruity bitter undertones and I feel like there's a grapefruitiness uh, already there. So the addition of grapefruit really amplifies the grapefruit touches of vetiver and that's what we get with this one. You'll see vetiver and grapefruit all the time and I feel like it's because of this. And here, even though it's a simplistic fragrance, they've done a great job. It's a great fragrance to wear in the heat, I think. You've got lots of citruses as I said but you've got that boost uh, the intensity of the vetiver the woodiness of the vetiver but for me the grapefruit's bitter zingy spicy and then the mandarin orange adds some sweetness to the fragrance and it's a great fragrance it's a 90 ml for suggested retail 40 bucks and I think it's totally worth it the next fragrance is unisex targeted but I feel like it might lean feminine but I feel like there's a option of this particular fragrance, much more expensive from the house of Zerzhov. That's unisex target, so a man can totally pull this one off. This is Laurence Dumont's Tendre Madeleine, this one right here for a delicious gourmand fragrance. It's vanillic, it's almondy, it's cinnamony, it's got musk, it's got bergamot, it's got woods. For me, this is very, very delicious, very gourmand, not very big, kind of more closer to the skin, but smells really, really, you know, you know like a gourmand, a madeleine come to life. And if you've ever smelled or baked them, I did them for a while. I actually bought the actual to sheets to bake those madeleines in. I was doing them for a while, a long time ago, almost 20 years ago, and I really enjoyed eating them. And this, I can actually enjoy the smell of rather than, you know, putting on the calories, eating them. But I, I do like to eat them once in a while. And this is a perfect representation of a madeleine. I think they did a great job. And this is uh, selling currently online for about $40. It might be a little more complicated here in the States, but in Europe, these are like 25 
euros for a bottle. So it's a great, great fragrance. Smells expensive. Tondra Madeleine is the 10th fragrance I'm talking about today. So we're going to talk about two fragrances from the house of uh, 4711 Aqua Colonia Intense. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is Wakening Woods of um, Scandinavia. And this one for me is a great green woody kind of camphoric fur fragrance. Uh, very fresh, but green and woody and earthy at the same time. It's got fur as a note, it's got bergamot, pink pepper, coriander, so definitely has spicy touches and of course fresh touches. It's very, very juicy fruity, as in the bergamot citrusy fruitiness, but lots of green earthy touches and spices and woods. Really great fragrance. It is uh, like selling for about $45, but that is a larger bottle. It's a 170 ml bottle, so you get a lot more juice, but just be keeping in mind, it's not a cologne intense, so you'll probably have to replenish that over and over again. And the next one I'm gonna recommend is uh, in the sunny sands, the seaside of Zanzibar, and another great kind of gourmandish take on the fragrance. And for me, this smells expensive. Both of them smell expensive to me, but this one actually reminds me of Holidays by Mansara. But this is the Eau de Cologne version of Holidays, holidays and the more kind of fresher take on holidays. It's unisex, it might lean a bit feminine, but I feel like if you like beachy fragrances, you're gonna love this one. It's coconut, frangipani, vanilla, watermelon. So it's a bit marine fruity. It's a bit coconutty and definitely very, very tropical floral. And of course, we've got beachy touches and suntan lotion-y touches here. Really a delicious fragrance. So this is Sunny Seaside of Zanzibar from the House of 4711, and that is from their Aqua Colonia Intense collection. Three more fragrances to go, and this next one's from the House of Frank Olivier. This is uh, Udvani, this one right here. A great oody, woody, rosy fragrance, a bit gourmand, a sweet, kind of chocolatey praline. Uh, but uh, definitely, definitely a fragrance that's uh, worth uh, checking out if you like the idea of an oud, rose, a vanillic, a gourmand kind of a take on a fragrance. It sells currently for 28 bucks for 100 ml, and I feel like it uh, totally is worth it. It's got woodsy notes, it's got vanilla, there's incense, there's rose, there's patchouli, caramel, spices, raspberry, musk. Super, super delicious, very, very cozy, very long lasting, and a great, great uh, fragrance that smells very, very expensive like some other. Uh, fragrances that are kind of similar in the ballpark. I'm thinking of Oud Bouquet from the house of Lancôme that this one kind of reminds me of. It's a little different, but kind of in that ballpark where that particular fragrance is expensive. Here we've got a very inexpensive alternative that's also smelling expensive. So this is Oud Vanille from the house of Frank Olivier. Moving on to the house of Lalique once again. This is Perle de Lalique, this one right here. This is a woman's targeted release. Uh, and I feel like, you know, men might be shy of this one, but I feel like if you like the idea of a fragrance like Porpora from Terenzi, or even better yet, Portrait of a Lady from the house of uh, Frederick Mall, you're gonna be able to wear this one. This has Bulgarian rose, bourbon pepper, patchouli, cashmere wood, and uh, a lot of other notes. There's some light fruitiness there. There's patchouli for sure. There's definitely the earthiness and light smokiness in there mixed in, but definitely has that reminder of uh, Portrait of a Lady. And if you like the idea of that fragrance and you just can't afford it, this is a great alternative, a great, great alternative. And it's only $30 for 100 ml. Really great, and a nice looking bottle, don't you think? So that is Perle de Lalique from the House of Lalique. And then finally, I discussed this fragrance in the last week's inexpensive video as well. We started off with a fragrance that was in that video, Ajmal's um, Verde, and then we're ending it with La Martina's Maserati. And this is a really, really yummy fragrance for me. It's got that vibrant, energetic, uh, citrusy boost when you first spray it, and eventually it gets kind of leathery, but more fresh kind of a leather. So if you like the idea of leather, definitely check this one out especially if you like fresh leather fragrances. So this is currently around the ballpark of $35 online. There's a various places it's selling at, so you can get it for up to $65, or as low as like $30, $35, and it features notes of cypress, suede, leather, sage, bergamot, chamomile, cedar, vetiver, angelica, mandarin. So definitely the cypress is king here, along with the leather, but along the way you've got invigorating citruses and freshness, some camphoric touches and uh, you know aromatic touches from the cypress, and then of course the leatheriness when it's drying down. I really, really like this one. Really overspray this one as well. It smells fantastic on me, and I like the dry down as it's drying down to kind of like a suede leather. Anyway, this is La Martina Maserati, and that's the last fragrance for you guys today. Let me know some other fragrances that you guys 
use or wear that you think uh, are smelling expensive, even though they're very, very inexpensive. You bought them cheaply. Uh, I'd like to find out. And let me know your thoughts on these fragrances as well. Do you have them? Do you, do you enjoy them? Or is it something that you've been eyeing? Uh, these fragrances probably will not cost you a lot of money, as I was saying. Sometimes, as I was saying also, that they do run out of the fragrances, but definitely sign up to be notified once they you know are you know restocked you can go ahead and take advantage of them but i appreciate you tuning in today if you have any questions or comments please list below please like this video please share it follow me on instagram and facebook and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one bye bye